What's up everyone, welcome to your fourth After Effects tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be covering some basic animation. So go ahead and get a new project open by clicking File, uh, New, New Project. I already got mine open, so I'm ready to go. And go ahead and click this little button right here that says Create New Composition. And this is going to obviously create a new composition. Now to animate an object, we obviously need an object. So I went ahead and before this tutorial created a Photoshop file real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and import that. Uh, you can go ahead and create like a circle or a square or any shape you want really. Um, I created this little guy right here. And once uh, you open him, he's going to be under your project panel. Just go ahead and drag it out in your composition panel and this guy uh, this is Sammy the Sausage I named him and we're gonna be working with him today to teach you guys how to animate so let me make him a little smaller so he's gonna be moving around the screen today so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go over here to your current time indicator and make sure you're at the very beginning and anytime, here's a shortcut, anytime you want to make sure you're at the beginning, you can go ahead and press home. Home brings you to the beginning on your keyboard, end on your keyboard brings you to the end. So go ahead and press home and move your uh, shape. I'm going to move Sammy to the bottom left because this is the first position that I want to place him in. Now, the way you need to animate is you need to make something called keyframes. And keyframes are pretty much the main locations where you're going to move your object. And to do this, there are two different ways. You can go ahead and click this triangle right here. Click transform and go to position. This is going to let you change the position of your object on the screen. Or you can just highlight your object on your composition panel and press P. This is a shortcut and it's a lot faster so uh, do that. And before you can get started moving this position around, make sure that this little time watch, make sure you click it so there is a square around it. If there's not a square around it, you can't edit any of the keyframes. Once you have um, the square around it, your first keyframe, in indicated by this little yellow sideways square thing, uh, diamond I guess, is going to automatically pop up. A keyframe means that in this point in time, this is where this object is going to be. So we want to animate this. So what we're going to want to do is move our current time indicator to um, another point in time. I'm going to move mine to one second. Now once this is at one second or another point in time, we can go ahead and take Sammy and move him around. As you can see, After Effects automatically created another point in time from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. So now if we go back to home and press spacebar, and in case you don't know, spacebar plays your animation, we can see that Sammy now moves from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. Again, um, let's uh, go ahead and move our current time indicator. Go ahead and move Sammy to the position that we want, hit home, spacebar, and play. So now that we learned how to do one keyframe, let's uh, add one more just for fun. Go ahead and put your current time indicator to about two minute, two seconds or something, and move Sammy again. As you can see, let me just show you guys what this does real quick because I know you guys are itching to know. Press home space Sammy does a nice little bunny hop so let's go pre and press home and as you can see this motion path has now uh, ha have kind of a curve to it and uh, this is because it's what After Effects is automatically set at if you want to have Sammy have nice straight lines what you need to do is hold down the control I mean uh, control alt tab on your keyboard and as you can see your cursor changed from arrow to a little um, flying V whatever that is and go ahead and click it 
and this now gives you nice straight lines and again if you want to undo that again it's control all on your keyboard click it and this will give you a nice curvy line so to toggle in between straight lines and curvy lines go ahead and hold down control alt on your keyboard and click a keyframe another thing that you might want to do is change the path of Sammy the sausage so to do that what you need to do is click on a keyframe and drag it it's very easy to do so for example if you want to move this keyframe make Sammy go a little higher and a little more to the right go ahead and just click and drag those around and as you can see it automatically changes the path of Sammy the sausage so again to move keyframes just click and drag and in, uh, one other thing I just want to cover real quick actually uh, in the next tutorial I'm gonna be covering how to use the pen tool and how to move what these little things mean right here but that's for the next tutorial I'm getting kind of long in this tutorial so I hope you enjoyed watching it I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed watching Sammy and as Sammy the sausage always says make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching I'll see you next time